Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. I just want to share something that you might find a little odd or strange. Okay, I'll tell you how it happened. You know, I got up at around uh, 3 o'clock. Okay, and I started to upload my videos and I finished uh, yesterday's batch basically. And uh, then, you know, I have my today's agenda, assignment, target, list of things to do. So, over there I saw, okay, write these articles, upload these videos. I have my own personal targets. In that, I came to, okay, I need to write an article on my blog. I've created this new blog. I've not shared it with anyone, not shared the link. If you're interested, you can let me know. Or, you know, I'll put it down in the description. I've started this new blog. It's kind of my diary. I just want to write every day. And uh, I've also started to write on Medium, the articles. I'll put the link down below. So I wanted to get back into blogging. Blogging is writing my thoughts. Nothing fancy, just I want to offer value. Now the funny thing is, and plus also reading books. I want to get back to those habits. Now the funny thing is, I was, <laughs> I was under the impression that I've been doing it every day. You know, sometimes we tend to have this habit where we believe we are doing a good job. We believe that, oh, we have put so much of effort. We believe, we always overestimate uh, our own capability. Like, I think that uh, Dun, uh, Dunning-Kruger, Dunning-Kruger? I think that Dunning-Kruger effect, where we overestimate ourselves. We think we are smarter than we actually are. We think we are more hardworking than we actually are. We, we, it's like we are at this level, but we think we are up there. S sad to say, I am guilty of this. So, and why am I saying this? I was under the impression I already wrote 10 articles. At least that's what I thought. But then when I check the articles, I have literally the article uh, number, I have the date, I have everything. Sad to say, sad to say, I have written only three articles in eight days. And the articles are so small. Sorry, two articles. Two articles in eight days. I was like, are you kidding me? I thought I'd put ten or at least eight. I thought I'd put one article a day. Just imagine, I didn't even realize days were going by. And I missed out eight, out of eight days, only two articles. I was like, oh, bloody hell, man. That's so stupid. And then, you know, because I write a diary, I keep a score sheet. You should know your score. I found out that even reading books, the pages, I've just read three chapters. I was supposed to read like one chapter per day. So it's supposed to be eight. Now, you might feel this is funny. Hey, Loy, how silly, man. No, it's not silly. This is not at all silly. This is where you evaluate yourself. You hold yourself to a certain standard. You figure out what you're doing. And you have to be tough with yourself. You can't uh, take uh, things for granted. At least in my case. I don't know about you, but... See, I'm happy with the fact, okay, I do exercise every day. I'm happy with the fact that I upload videos every day. But I've given myself a new target. I need to write an article every day. I need to read every day, learn. You know, it's, it's very easy to type on WhatsApp and chat and talk and give your opinion and think you're smart. We all do that. Question is, how much are you learning? How much are you studying? How much are you pushing yourself out of your comfort zone? And when you have a measurable method of evaluating yourself, 
you come to know where you are i mean if i were to compare myself to say a dedicated blogger i'm not even at forget 5% i'm not even at 1% and that's a shame you know it all depends on what standards you put yourself against so you know like i always like to give something of value so if there was something of value i would give you through this video number one is the realization i think we all overestimate ourselves we think we are smarter than we actually are we think that we work harder than we actually should now for you to know the reality where you stand i would say keep an excel sheet that's something i do keep an excel sheet with a date every day date and every day you should know what is your target for videos uh, what is it it should be a measurable number it should not be something grandiose like oh 1000 videos be practical be realistic three videos per day fine and don't just put three videos one minute each no three minute video three videos of 15 minutes very specific on youtube okay tiktok one video per week okay instagram i'm giving you for me it's personal branding and marketing myself so it's related to this and it's not just any monkey punky post i have a strategy in mind so these are my measurables then vlogging or blogging sorry blogging not vlogging one article per day on my website one article per day on medium or every alternate day so you have a specific target and then you should know also what are you going to write on on my website i want to put my personal thoughts on uh, medium i want to put related to business or branding or productivity you need to know the categories and then uh, yes reading books i want to read one chapter a day one chapter a day and these are not very big chapters these are small chapters so i have a measurable standard to know where i stand and i need to do this every single day you know now let's assume i do it every day if i do it every day for a month that doesn't mean oh loy so smart loy so good. no it's forget me forget you forget everyone this is not for bragging rights this is not for putting a facebook update hey i did 30 days exercise 30 uh, uh, you know some people like to have this 100 push ups every day for 100 days okay yes we like to push ourselves and get the attention i've done that in the past but this is more of a inner disciplined exercise you know if you ask someone who is studying for his phd who's really studying hard for his education he doesn't go around bragging to everyone listen i studied four pages five pages no he wants he has a greater goal in mind and uh, one last tip i'll give you during my younger days i used to brag and talk and advertise to the whole world what i was doing more like a mohammad ali i will do this i will do that i will arnold used to play psychological games and all. i was very loud and brash and obviously because of the attention i love to tell everyone but over the years as i've grown older i've realized people who really achieve greatness now they don't go around talking about it they don't go around, go around advertising they don't go around showing off or telling people those who do that you have reached your max if you really really want to achieve greatness if you really want to grow big you keep it private nobody should know how many hours you studied how much exercise you did like an olympic uh, athlete you think he goes around telling how many hours he trained how much he lifted and this and that no they show it on the field of battle the end result and that is where they get the respect so through this video if there was something i would want to share with you is i think we all overestimate our greatness and we all underestimate uh, our shortcomings i think sometimes it's good to realize by looking at this sheet where you measure every day how much activity how much effort what is your monthly goal at the end and don't cheat just to achieve big numbers put your heart your soul 
and be true to yourself. And that's how you'll come to know where you stand. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If it adds value, share it with someone. And you know, the YouTube normal stuff like share, subscribe, blah blah. All right, you guys take care. If you have any topics that you want me to speak about or give my opinion, mention it in the comments. It's me, Sanyo. You guys take care. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Mm -hmm.